Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to sensors and transducers. In this video, we are going to discuss about a force measurement device, which is helical spiral springs setup. Okay, so as it is mentioned, it will be used for the measurement of force. Okay, basically it is used for weight measurement. Uh, in weighing stations, uh, also in various uh, places where uh, we need to measure the weight, for example, weight of grains, groceries, or anything like that. So this spring kind of system, it comes with a hook where you hang the, uh, you know, the object which is to be weighed, and then it gives the readout. So uh, generally, it comes with a digital display. So it employs first converting this force into suitable electrical signals with the help of a suitable secondary transducer, then proper signal conditioning to give a digital output. So basic principle of helical spiral springs is, is that it consists of a spring in the shape, or shape of a helix, helical structure and there are two actually three important parameters that are very important from the design point of view first is the angle between each coil okay the the, the in the shape of the helix it is the helix angle in which the spring is coiled that angle alpha that is very important and it is kept within 6 degree okay and then another important parameter is the coil radius the helical coil radius which is capital R okay the mean coil radius from the center to the either extreme points and then another important parameter is the diameter or radius of the each coil turn that okay the coil material which is used so that is also very important these three parameters the helix angle alpha the mean coil radius okay the turn uh, 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 depending upon the turn the coil radius is determined which is capital R and then the coil material okay the coil thickness or the radius small r okay these three things are very important so what happens is that at this point a hook is provided from this hook we hang the uh, object which is to be weighed uh, which is to be measured the weight of which is to be measured it exerts a downward force okay because of its weight, the acceleration due to gravity acting downwards, W is equal to mg. And because of this, this helical spring, it will undergo expansion. This is the, uh, we have already discussed it in waves and oscillations also. Again, we'll repeat. First, the spring is at its initial position. Then when the weight is hung, it act, uh, pressure acts on it and it undergoes expansion and because of that the movement which happens okay that the displacement from the mean position that is measured with the help of this this movement of this free end which is gives us the displacement y this small up small y which is gives us the movement the displacement now we have to establish a relationship between this displacement y and the force applied f okay small y and capital f so that is given by this relationship where the displacement the axial displacement of the free end small y and the applied force capital f they are related as this y is equal to 4 fn r cube 
divided by g r4 here in the numerator we have capital r q in the numerator we have small r4 capital r is the mean radius of the helical coil this one okay this from here to here from here the center point to this extreme point this is capital r but this radius for the material okay the coil material which is used the spring coil material which is used the thickness or the diameter of that coil that is given by this 2 into small r it is the radius of that specific coil helical coil which is used and uh, n is the number of turns of coil okay n is the number of uh, turns of coil capital G is the modulus of rigidity which is the ratio between shear stress and shear strain now again we have already covered this whole thing in the material science uh, section and also in the previous videos of sensors and transducers so I will not repeat that again and uh, then n is the small n is the number of turns of coil of the spring how many number of turns are used that also comes into play so here we have established a direct relationship between the axial displacement okay the axial displacement or the movement of this free end of the helical spring and the applied force so because of the weight which is attached the spring undergoes compression and expansion and as a result of which the free end of the spring it undergoes movement and then we have converted this movement into uh, you know some kind of a, a electrical signal by connecting a displacement transducer electrical displacement transducer such as LVDT or uh, potentiometer or any other resistive inductive capacitive sensor if we connect this free end to those secondary transducers we will get a suitable voltage or current output then we can convert it into digital form through proper proper signal conditioning uh, digital uh, analog to digital conversion sampling quantization and coding so that we can get a direct digital readout this is the basic operation but this helical spiral spring is the first stage the primary transducer so helical spiral spring is the primary transducer it does not give us a electrical output it does not give us a voltage or current output it only gives us mechanical movement displacement of the free end that displacement has to be converted into voltage or current depending on whatever type of secondary transducer you want to use okay like i said lvdt potentiometer any type of transducer that you want to use you can use then you have to use signal conditioning amplification filtering of noise signals impedance matching linearization all of those things you have to use then analog to digital conversion techniques to get a final digital output so that that are later things this is the basic fundamental first stage working principle okay so this is the helical spiral springs used for the measurement of force basically for the measurement of weight at weighing stations okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much